Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is MinuteMath, and today we're going to learn about basic polynomial operations. And this is our critical thinking question. It's not really naming too much here, but our critical thinking question here. So critical thinking. This is why is it impossible? to have a linear trinomial with one variable. So why is it impossible to have a linear trinomial with one variable? Okay? Well, the reason we have that, right, is that, well, if the highest degree is uh, where it's linear, right, or highest degree is x to the first power, let's say. So something to the first power, right, that's going to be the highest one. If there's any other x's out there, we would combine it together. So as we go down, the next one would be a constant. So the only two possible things, the only, it could only have at most two terms. It's a linear and a constant. A linear and a constant. Okay? I hope that's in there. Okay? Um, let me just, just in case it's not, I'm just going to erase it here. So it's a linear and a constant. And so let's assume, okay, let's assume then that this is, let's say, an x, so we can see that, right? So we have 7x right here, 7x, and it's to the first power, right? If I had x to the second power, right, it would be linear, right? So the highest degree I could have is to the first power, and then if there were another x, let's say x, you know, let's say 2x right here, right, to the first power, they wouldn't be separate because I could combine those first. Right? So since I can combine those first, right, they would all be going to 1, it would be actually 9x to the first power. And then we go down, so this is just an example again, to a constant, I'm going to just have plus, you know, I don't know, 8. So now we would have a linear constant, and again, most could have is two terms. Now I could have other constants there, but again, I would have to bring them and simplify them together, all the constants together. So, again, that's why it's impossible, right, to have a linear trinomial with just one variable, okay? We would have to have, uh, it couldn't be a trinomial, it would have to, at most, could have two, all right? So, quick recap, uh, critical thinking question says, why is it impossible to have a linear trinomial with one variable? Well, the most we could have, all right, is two terms, right? It wouldn't get to three, it wouldn't be a trinomial classification because of the linear, right? So linear is telling us it is one, x to, let's say here, to the first power, we have a linear right there going on. Then, uh, instead of a tri, uh, this is linear, right? We couldn't combine, if it was, if it was x to the second power, it'd be a, you know, quadratic, so it wouldn't be linear, that's the highest one we could have, okay? And then we could go down from there. If there's any other x's, let's say that being our variable, x to the first power, we would have to combine it with this. Then the next one down is our constant, all right? So I got multiple constants, but I would have to simplify them and bring them together. So most we could have is two terms. So the closest way we can get is a, uh, we have to have a linear and a constant, okay? And this is a, you know, a binomial here, but it wouldn't be a trinomial. So this would actually be impossible. And there is our final 